Welcome to the winner's finals of group 2 in the Wisdom of Tots tournament. $1,000 are on the line total. Still can be contributed to throughout the duration of the tournament, by the way. Batuhan is going to be playing as Ra in the blue. His opponent in the red, you love him, you know him. He is a top performer in overall Age of Mythology competitive. This is Nullis. Won so many tournaments already. I'm sure he'll keep doing it. Great to see him again. And with Odin, no less. Surprised by Batuhan's rap pick. I can't say I've seen him play that too much. But I guess he likes mixing it up and just playing the map that needs to happen. So, quick shout out for the website subscribers. Hell, hell yeah. Hell yeah, you guys are keeping us alive. Paying the bills. Making these tournaments happen. That's where it's at. Huge thank you. Make sure to collect your perks. Those of you who are already subscribed, those who want to subscribe, check out our links in the Twitch about section, YouTube description. Very easy to find. Yeah, there's a lot of perks for those of you interested. And for those not looking to financially support, just watching, just sharing with a friend is also fantastic. Keeps us in business, making more tournaments happen, as we're certainly intending to do that. Especially with Retold on the horizon, whenever that is. Sadly, I don't know when that is, but hopefully not in the too distant future. As we need some fresh blood in this scene, I think. Not to complain, there's a good variety of high-level players. But more can't be bad. No offense to more, of course. <laughs> Got an early monument coming in. Ooh. Are we gonna... Ooh. Could it be? What I wouldn't give for some bast action. Temple coming up for Novice. Yeah, but Odin, you don't need many hunters at all. He's still got five, though. So that should be a relatively... Relatively fast... H2 here from him. Got the three ox cards already. Now, making dwarves at the end here. Did Zeus bind Prometheus on a cliff and let vultures eat him alive? That is actually correct. Greek mythology is something else. Double monument. Sphinx is confirmed, I think. Oh yeah. I mean, the dude stole fire from the gods, right? Uplifting humanity. It's an interesting concept in... Uh, in, in in futurism, actually, that one day we might do that to some other species. It doesn't have to mean that I'm talking about aliens. It could be. Maybe we're gonna do it to dolphins. You know, they can't become intelligent. Uh, they, they they can't become technological. They can't have fire underwater, which means no fire means that they can't do metalworking, which means they can't build complex tools. To make more complex tools with. To make more complex machinery. They never leave the water. They don't have hands. And there's massive erosion there, so... You can't leave any long-term artifacts. So yeah, uplifting dolphins would require us to give them hands and to... Uh, probably give them legs, make them amphibian. And then they could take over, and... What have we really done? Is that monstrous? Would you uplift your pet, your dog, to make them be able to talk to you? But keep them just dumb enough so that they don't kick humans out? 
Wow. That doesn't sound very ethical now, does it? So what Prometheus did, he probably earned it. <laughs> and here we are. And look how grateful us humans are. Have you seen Prometheus in the campaign? Have you seen that depiction of him? He mad, dude. He mad. <laughs> Ungrateful pricks. Anyways, we're gonna have a bunch of arms. Oops. That's what I meant to click. There's no plow just yet. Oh, wait. We just reached classical, of course. <laughs> okay, there's, there's the Sphinx. First of many, I hope. Let's see, Mbatu. Oh, already throwing down that armory. Maybe it's a fast heroic. But then what are we gonna do with all the favor? Second TC for Nullus. It's working. We're hunting out there, getting the virus. Yo. Staff of Dionysus has been picked up. Of course, rain goes entirely in the Ra player's favor in this at this point in time. There's no way for Nullus to get farms right now cost effectively. The armory is happening soon enough and then Batu will be able to go heroic. I kind of feel like he could have put two villagers on this job and it would be done. Sphinx isn't really able to pull anything. Nosus heroic is gonna be understandably slower. Doesn't look to me like he's particularly intending to make a lot of units right now. So there should be some kind of 2TC semi fast heroic. With Njord, he could do a lot of damage. Is that what we're gonna get to see? Possible. Possible. It's half or what is the plan for Batu here, man? Why the double monument? He's got 50 favor in the back. Somebody explain. Is this a fast mythic? Like by the time it could be a fast mythic. But then what about that favor? Fast Titan? Or Avenger abuse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. But can you really abuse them when there's gonna be Frost Giants in the way? The Frost Giants just freeze them and then they're stun locked forever. Granted, the Avengers are faster. They can bully the villagers. It's a fast mythic, boys. <laughs> Love it. Okay, but Nolus has everything walled off, so he'll see the rock coming. And it will make it harder for the Avengers as well. So they'll either bust through a wall or go around the ice on the edges. The specialty of frozen wastes, after all. But extremely chill game for 9 minutes, which is why we're talking about uplifting dol dolphins, I guess. It is what it is. I mean, let's not be too impressed with ourselves. We haven't figured out their speech. <laughs> Should be two villager kills. 
And there's the Frost Giant. Can it freeze the Pistachio? Dude, those... I gotta say, those Throwing X-Men are doing a lot of damage to the rock. This has to be respected. Uh, they do have X of most spells, so no wonder they are doing that much damage. It's dead. Oh boy, oh boy. The Frost Giant is trying to go back there. They would have had enough range to, to freeze through it. The Valkyrie can maybe path block. Teresa says I wanna be reincar- I sound like I wanna be reincarnated as a dolphin. I don't know about that. Although the reincarnation topic is interesting. Especially if you combine it with mind uploading. And you can just get a copy of you coming back anytime. Is that really you though? It's like, you, you don't wanna be teleported because teleportation kills you. And there's a tornado, by the way. Speaking of teleportation, these wills are about to be teleported into nothing as well. Not. Actually, the tornado maxed out on damage. There were just enough villagers here to spread out the damage enough so that they don't die. But the TC has no such luck. There's no buildings to support it, really. That's that's awkward. So Nullis will have to fix this at some point by making more stuff. And the Avenger abuse was actually the correct call. There's going to be more of those, as well as Camelry. Oh yeah, but yeah, teleportation does kill you. As depicted in sci-fi, and what emerges is a copy of you, so... Is that really what you want, or do you want a portal that you just step through? I'm gonna opt for the option number two, I think. Five point five speed on these boys should be able to dodge arrows pretty good, or axes for that matter. May dodge axes. Then again, you don't need actually that much speed for dodging axes. That's a lot of camelry, dude. Four Avengers and Eclipse. Yep, this is where it's at. This is what we've been waiting for this whole game. Can wipe this army and cross the map at the same time. I need to play some Soma. I have played Soma. It's really good. It deals exactly with this problem, actually. Um, I won't say no more because it's a massive spoiler for those that haven't played. But it does, it does deal with this topic. Now, with the Eclipse on... The Avengers have 6.6 .6 speed and 42 <laughs> attack. They're tearing that uh, Frost Giant apart. If there were four of them, that would be a very different story. Because then you would be able to freeze all of them. But the Avenger now on the other side of the map, able to spin to win and take down those villagers. No problem cutting through them like... What? Knife. Fruit butter. What about these guys? Oh, good pre-split or auto-split? I don't even know which one that was. It was automatic. Sometimes doing nothing is as good as if you were a Brood War player. Gate is getting busted through. There's a good amount of Wolfsarks and Hersiers and Yars to take this on. Base Camry might not be good enough. Oh, there's a lot more though, and they don't get all frozen, so Nolus is in a little bit of trouble here. Let's see if he can make it. He's gonna have to fight the actually alive units. There's a Brock. Um, for whatever reason, there's no catapults or anything like that. I mean, catapults are extremely expensive, so I totally understand not making them yet. But it will be useful to save stuff with. Now, we've got Forest Fire coming in, and while the damage per second isn't going to be very high from it you can allow frost allows you to max out the damage from the forest fire on the army so that is usually a lot better than it would have been without look at this the entire egyptian army has evaporated already and there's a lot of damage on the units that are about to fall some of them already dead immediately 
a lot of camel death sounds. Of course, a rock can save him. Batu wishes he had done this a few seconds earlier. As it would have saved an extra three or four, three or four camels. Gold miners are moving on to dig. Alright, this ox cart is getting going to bully town. Uh, there's another one coming. It looks to me like Batu will actually get neither of them. That's the worst of all worlds. Camel toy surrounded and frozen rock drop on the other side though hitting the gold miners. The dwarves are actually in so much trouble here. Completely body blocked. What a good raid this is. A few of them will be picked off but AOM's pathing is real slippery. So they'll be able to make it back into the TC and the rock is actually probably gonna die. Survives at 6 hit points. Wow. Just about made it. He also coming in to defend their Ulf Yars. That's, I think, medium. It's Ulf, Great and Legendary, right? Methinks. 45 TC is free for Nullis, so he can go up to 160 population now, and he instantly does. Is he gonna think about the 4th TC? Is that too greedy? Just go for the gold mine? What do you guys think? Teleport. Seems to me that Nullis is gonna go the gold mine route. And I mean, behind this, he has not gone mythic yet, so there's always the play of Ragnarok looming as a threat. Starting to build up the resources a little bit. Spin to win Avengers, taking out a handful of Ulf Sarks, that's helping a lot. I don't think that 6 hit point rock should try to pick up that catapult, because the throwing X-Men should totally pick off the rock right now. Especially with the catapult in there, do it! Do it, Nullis! Ah! It was a bait. Okay, okay, one catapult with a rock together. Time for Twitch chat to complain. <laughs> Patuhan fighting for dear life. Rock needs some healing. He needs some TLC. Who knows if it's a he? Camels dying left and right, they're not even heavy camels, they don't even have any upgrades besides the whole raw thing going on. And that's two catapults already dead. That is 800 resources, our raw player cannot afford his Batu. He's as good as broke. Good thing he's in Mythic Cage, but bad thing he doesn't have stuff. Nullis is coming in to kill. Another catapult might get taken down. Frozen, can't pick that up. The rock's next. Oh god. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Now, behind this forest, there's a lot of action going on there. Can't quite spin the camera right now. What's going on? There we go. Notice these somehow allow the units to path through here by just moving a little forward. There we go. He's got it. So now. Everybody's fighting now his army is at full power and he can just keep pushing in the gold mining continues for Batu Which allows him to kind of keep this Training going but only giving one medium maxman at a time But they're running into several throwing axemen and basically get instantly taken down as they tickle Ophiars, which is literally a tickle it doesn't hurt Good job taking down the Frost Giant, though, which is, by the way, upgraded. Whoops, I meant to select Nullis. So, in terms of him advancing ages, it's not yet happening. Now going after the gold mines. 
He's got some pretty good economy behind this. He doesn't have a trade. So he's probably not super eager to go for Ragnarok. And this push might need a little bit more time. Uh, go back. Build it up a little more. Go in with something slightly more solid. Maybe this is an instance where you go tier. I just get a bunch of towers up here and Ballista. During the Fimble Winner. And then just siege down the TC. But the gold mine can be denied too, so. That's all good. Avenger, be avenging. And it's gone. Heavy cavalry is through for Nullis. That will help quite a lot against these. Are the camels still medium? Or, well... They're normal, but they technically have a hidden medium. Uh, it's really funny. Look at this. The base HP is actually 125. And this only gives 27. So the rest comes from a hidden medium upgrade. Just something that you guys should know. So Egyptian gets free medium upgrades on MGDO units. That's how it works. Heavy infantry is in. They don't have any armory upgrades either, so Nullis is totally just relying on his economy to crank out these units. His gold mine is about to expire, but he's got several extra. And then breaking through this, Migdol is a big play too. Once he can combine his armies, he can gold control potentially against Batu, who has got all his villagers now focused around here. What is that? 30 villagers? As many as he can select, man. Big commitment to that one location. Norris is gonna take the next TC. Takes control of this location now too. He's got Grugnir Odin Spear ready to be picked up. A lot of longhouses, man. Armories? What? Are we getting... Are we cosplaying Hephaestus play here? <laughs> Can't say I've seen this before. But yeah, Nolis is very hard stuck in heroic, it would seem. Never mind, he's got the uh, resources. Bilder is almost up, so he's just doing it to really quickly upgrade his Ragnarok heroes. Uh, you can do that in the process as well. Copper weapons is done. It's a good enough start for Ragnarok. And as as you go, you can get some further ones. You'd be shocked if he instantly clicked in. He might as well just get champion upgrades first. It's not like Batu has a lot. Again, the camels are still medium, the spears are basic, so... Spears are not gonna be the answer now. But the horse spearmen are pretty good. If Batu is working on that, that could go a long way. Copper shields is done for Nullis. Nope. There is absolutely no chance he can get the greatest of 50 upgrade and any of that stuff. Not that it would help against Ragnarok. So, yeah, Nullis wants the big one. He's working on it. He's getting copper shields. He's getting a bunch of rams that he can maybe hide. He's getting a good number of fire giants, which is going to make the Ragnarok so powerful. That's what Ragnarok normally misses. Like, what Nullis is doing right now is exactly what I have been preaching about for... Well, when did we start with Metaplace? With over two years now. Uh, I, w I was wishing to one day witness this in a tournament game. And I think this might be our chance to finally get that. 
Well, they would take more than the one ram to really satisfy my needs, but oh boy. He's going for it. It should be enough. Even without all this all this action. Uh, wants to siege down the TC with some vault catapults, so that was probably the trigger. Oh, the catapult is shooting a random longhouse, dude. That does not help. But even killing this Destroying the TC will not reduce the number of Ragnarok heroes that are impending. They have full bronze line upgrades and the ram has been peppering this TC for a while now. The walls are broken. The vills are getting sent away and Batu resigns before Nilus can show the power that he wields, that he built up to this whole time. Well, that's unfortunate, but congrats to Nilus nonetheless. There's a game... Uh, to for sure, will there be a game free? We will see. Game two, we've got Batuhan in the blue color here on Watering Hole. He's gonna be playing as Odin. And on the other side, Nolus is actually picking up four, which is not something we see all that often on Watering Hole. It's usually like an Odin mirror, but I'm happy to see it nonetheless. Four can certainly be pretty good. It's just that it's usually a raiding cavalry mirror. Now it could totally turn into an Ulfsark thing for uh, for Batuhan, especially if he can wall off easily, which the map layout does suggest that it's fairly easy to keep map control um, with an Ulfsark army, especially being the Odin. Probably won't be doing that as four. But yeah, usually quite raiding heavy. There's a lot of food on the map. So much to hunt. So both of these gods heavily benefit from that. Four players get the pig sticker. Which is basically negating the bonus that... Uh, there it is. It's it's a 20% increase to your gather rate. Just like the Odin, Odin innate. But this one also allows you to basically insta-shot down the, the animals. Splitting off the one villager to get on the on the on the tree, Did sharing the ox cart at a perfectly efficient location rather than doing the strip back and forth the whole time. So notice, always got a keen eye for efficiency, of course. As for Odin player, we're we're using the gazelles first, and then a zebra nearby. So, yeah, it's basically. Odin Heaven, right? You only use free gatherers and you get a really good effect out of that, together with hunting dogs, of course. Whereas the four actually has to spend resources on matching this gather rate. Meanwhile, you just get the other resources going faster, age up at the same time, and you're overall happy. Let's take a look at these relics. Oh, this one is garbage. It's the <laughs> Scales of Katobla Pass for Mifunet Crush Armor. It's such a niche. You almost never care about this. Um, we got the Pygmalion statue for 40% villager hit points. Now that's a relic. It's an insane power level difference between these two relics. Uh, I, I think something really needs to happen with these absolute crappy relics in, in Retold. This is just not even funny how, how bad the bad ones are compared to the good ones. <laughs> There's a fair bunch in the middle as well, which nothing to complain about there. But like... Oh, this is useless. Probably shouldn't be the reaction when you see a relic. I don't know. So crush damage between Mifians, when is that ever relevant? Uh, maybe... Maybe for like... Hecka Giants fighting Hecka Giants. I could see that. They have a lot of crush. That's about it. Yeah, they do a lot of damage to each other, so that's probably the only time you actually want to target that way. Um, fire giants, I guess, have some crush. And they'll be targeting Mifinets too. Can't think outside of that. Anyways, Proxy Temple. Is this a Heimdall rush? What? It's Freya. 
That's actually something that Odin has over four that you can go Heimdall and benefit from from those Iron Harriers, but it's just nowhere near as good as Loki's version of it. Uh, because you just get these super hearse here, so the speedy, the spawning extra myth units, and then you still get everything that Odin does, except uh, except the hunt thing. So that's a really spooky one in the Norse mirrors. Odin's one, not quite as potent. But you got other things that you can do. So Norse is up Freya. And this Hersher doesn't have damage yet. It's got the classic uh, the archaic cage nerf. And until he advances, this is how things are gonna be. That Skrilling is extra low right now. Bakri is certainly doing her job. Right, there's the there's the upgrade coming through. Force fire is gonna be used instantly. What? That is Batuhan's forest fire, and it's gonna do. A little bit of damage again. Uh, actually, that temple might burn down. Nope, the trees collapse. That's the end of it. So it opens up this territory, and I guess a little bit of the wall will be damaged. Not sure if it will actually collapse. But anyway, we've got the extra longhouses coming in. Notice this one's a little bit faster. And he's training. Throwing axes. Hopefully he remembers to make raiding cav. I'm not going full infantry here. You do need that healthy mix. Alright. The wall is getting a little bit of damage there. Probably will be destroyed in the end. Oh, there it is. And it's gone. Last tree has caught on fire too. So this is now an open field. See if there's any upgrades here for Batu. Nothing else. Seven dwarfs on the gold versus seven dwarfs on the gold. So very equal distribution of everything between these two players. Let's check. Quick population comparison. It's 55 for Nolis versus Batu's 39? Excuse me, what happened here? I didn't see anything dying yet. What is going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're making mass raiding cab. It trains lower than the infantry. That's what's happening. These guys take 18 seconds to make. Throwing X take 16. And Osarks would take uh, less. So they take 9 seconds. Popping out the raiding cav, going after the throwing axes. Is this gonna work out? Force fires coming through from Nullis. Kinda on the defense. Uh, he should be able to burn down the longhouse with that. That will permanently reduce this production. The throwing axemen have been wrecked. But down go the raiding cav. Has he actually successfully killed Batu's Valkyrie? Where's that Valkyrie? I must have missed it. But it's certainly not here. Oh boy. Well, that's a tough one for Batu. He barely has any units left. And he's about to lose the longhouses. He's about to lose the houses after that. Can he even rebuild these things? I mean... That plus units getting remade is gonna be expensive. And he's about to lose two more raiding cav. Oh! <laughs> Nolis is absolutely on fire. On forest fire, and I guess Batuhan is the tree. And it's not separated from its neighbor. Ay, 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 The Ulfsarks are really a last ditch effort because they get trained fast, but already there's several throwing axes right here on location. Uh, their shots are not going to be dodged as they're trying to fight. The second Valkyrie is just a Giga Trixie. And they're going to take down whatever's left of Batu. No problem. There was no way to come back into this game after those drastic early losses. Not with a forward base like this. Absolute disaster for Batu. But uh, we're going to check in the bracket what his actual final results are in the group. 
at least with the Twitch crew. Congrats to Nolas for advancing out of the group and making it to the round of 16. Now, we want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind the scenes costs, such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.